so really excited about this 165 grain acubond and a 270 short mag gotta sit it out there pretty good you can tell it fits in the magazine just perfect just perfect so see if these things shoot a decent group see what the velocity is and see how stable they are So I'm sure most of you guys know that are watching this, but a 150 grain bullet is about the max for a 270 caliber cartridge with a one in 10 twist. And all your classic cartridges like your Weatherby, your Short Mag and your Winchester all have one in 10 twist. Now you get something like a Nossler Partition, a real round nose type bullet. Um, it can go like 160. You look at the ELDX, kind of a more modern VLD style bullet. They actually dropped it to 145. But however, Frontline Rejects shot basically the same load I'm shooting at his altitude, and there was zero issues. And then Reloading Weatherby shot a normal 270 with no issues. So I'm gonna see what mine looks like. All right, just aiming here. I know for a fact that was the first shot. That was the last two. Now, let's look real closely here. They did not keyhole. They did not, you know, there's no sign of them tumbling or anything. Uh, everybody always says this, I know, it's a cop out, but I did feel a little awkward in that first shot. I'm actually shooting another video right now. And I just shot a different rifle with a much lighter trigger. <laughs> and that first shot kind of threw me for a loop. Next two, I felt really good about, but now, there's three more shots coming, so we'll see, now that I'm more comfortable with the rifle, what kind of shots I get on the next group. Next group, I'm just going up by one charge, or I should say one grain of powder, and we're gonna see what happens. But so far, so good. Frontline rejects and reloading Weatherby proved you could do it at short range, long range, um, with a 270 short mag and a normal 270. They did more extensive testing than what I did. Reloading Weatherby, thank you, sent me some 165 ABLRs. Reloading Weatherby sent these bullets to me because he wanted me to test them, see if I got the same results. Now, I believe Frontline rejects said he was at 1900 feet of elevation. And I can't recall where Reloading Weatherby is. I think it's like 4,000. I could be dead wrong on that. But um, I'm at 1,400. Nowhere near the mountains. <laughs> well, the Ozark Mountains. Uh, look at my group. Not bad at all. I'll measure this and put it on the screen right now. But I'm going to guess about 8 tenths of a inch. So under a minute of angle. Pretty darn impressed with that. No keyholing, no issues that I can tell. All right, so this is a game changer as far as I'm concerned. Now, I like the 6.8 Western and I objectively can see how it could be better, definitely more versatile. I mean, you're gonna get up to 175, 180, possibly 185 bullets, grain bullets. I don't, I th <laughs> in theory, this is the limit for the 270 WSM, but my gosh, guys. So I'll just tell you, neither one of these two loads was anywhere close to max. Now there is no published data, so you can't really judge. I did talk to Frontline Rejects. He told me how much he put in. I actually put in less than what he did. So I'm getting close to 2,900 feet per second, but not quite there. But I think I could possibly get to 3,000 if I jump this load up a little bit. I was no pressure signs whatsoever. And in all honesty, I was pretty conservative on these two loads that I shot. So more to come, another video coming out. Um, but hey, 270 short mag is fantastic. 
and it's fantastic with the 165 grain Nossler Acubon long ranges. Guys, take care. See you.